Hey everyone, welcome back. This is The Gerbil, and I want to do a Galactic Legend Revan Reborn prediction video because I don't think that this is very likely that we're going to get Revan Reborn anytime soon as a GL. Now, maybe in the game for sure, but not as a GL. All right, so this kind of started when Darth Malgus hit Conquest uh, and he was revealed and Old Republic fans like got goo goo over gaga excitement out of it. And that's fantastic. But it definitely started to seem like this could become more possibility when CG announced 50RT or Sortie. And that, you know, it's a completely original character that they've created for the game and we know that we need more tunes released if we're going to get an Old Republic GLs so this adds a little bit of evidence to it. Now to make sure I'm not totally off base here I thought maybe I'd check out a little bit of research and see what I can find about Old Republic see if there's any dates or anything important coming up and it turns out that Old Republic was released in 2011 which is now 11 years ago so that's an odd number to be celebrating with a galactic legend also the the last update was in February so we're already a few months past that it's more probable to me that Malgus is coming to the game for two reasons one to fill the hold in the Sith Empire squad when Revan goes to the Sith Eternal teams and two just to celebrate Celebrate the fact that Malgus is a prominent character in the most recent update back in February. However, there's also a lot of chatter about a Old Republic Star Wars movie coming in 2023. So that's a year away. And if indeed that happens, that would be a good time to introduce an Old Republic GL or two. And of course, that means that we need more characters. So now is a good time to begin introducing them. But it does mean that it's not happening anytime soon for us. Now, to further understand why I think this is not happening anytime soon, we need to better understand how Capital Games makes money. It's pretty simple. Supply and demand and instant gratification. It takes a lot of time, thus people get impatient and they buy packs and uh, upgrades. We know this, okay? So upgrade equals money, right? So that's why each of the Galactic Legends require between 13 and 15 characters each uh, at at high gear or relic now here's the list of them and if I miss something forgive me please let me know in the comments I'd appreciate it but here's the list of all the characters required for each of the galactic legends and this is pulled off of uh, Star Wars SWGOH.GG the numbers on the left of them indicate the ranking in the order of most to least geared in the player community so we can see at the top of this list is Darth Vader at 373,000 people who have taken him to a gear 13 level but we can obviously see Jedi Knight Revan is the second one and if you go down to number six we hit Darth Revan now that's important because at that level of gearing there's very very little profit or revenue opportunity for capital gains and it is not a bad thing that they want to make money it's what sustains the game all right so now if we take this this data table and we kind of crunch some numbers we can find out that there are currently 226 characters including the Grand Inquisitor who's not yet out 80 of the top 100 characters most geared are already required by a GL or executor that leaves 138 characters not currently required by a GL and here they are broken up sort of by faction now there's a lot of overlap and I likely made a few mistakes but there's only one Bad Batch character not required by a GL, 5 Geonosians, 8 Nine Sister, 7 Sith, Empire, etc. The two that stand out the most are obviously Empire and Rebels. Empire does include the recent 5 Inquisitor, 6 Inquisitors including the GL, or uh, sorry, Grand Inquisitor, and the Rebels I did include the Phoenix Squad. Those right there represent the two largest opportunity for revenue from capital gains. Of course for Rebels I would also include Ewoks in that because, well, they go hand in hand. But what if, what if I am wrong? What if a Revan Reborn is indeed on the horizon? Well, okay, then we do have 10 Old Republic currently in the game. We also have eight Sith Empire, Darth Revan, Bastion Sam Fallen, Darth Malak, HK-47, Sith Marauders, Empire Trooper, Sith Assassin, Darth Malgus. I don't think I've missed anyone here. Of course, Malgus is not yet playable. Now, uh, when we put these all together, it does give us a grand total of 18 characters, which is enough for a galactic legend. And of course, if we want to try to arrange them in a, an easier to understand way and see how the, or where the profit opportunity lies in capital gains, which of course is the incentive they will have to release a galactic legend, well, we can re really quickly see that 
of these 18 characters, nine or one half of them are already among the top fourth most geared characters in the game. That makes it in in extremely unlikely that they would actually be targeted for a Galactic Legend right now, unless they want to give the community kind of a handout freebie, here's an easy GL, and well, that's not going to happen. Let's get real. Okay, so the next nine characters, where are they? Well, they are actually pretty low relative to the other half, which is a good sign. Okay, so we have an opportunity here that we could actually work with these nine characters. Uh, it's kind of an interesting group. Most of what we need to unlock, uh, Malik is right there. Um, and of course, to unlock a Galactic Legend, we will likely need between 13 and 15 characters. Now the last four GLs each needed 15, while Ray and Slicker only needed 13 characters, not including themselves. That means we do need five more characters, and there is a theory out there that 5ORT actually stands for Five Old Republic Tunes, which is leading more people to believe that this could mean that we're going to get five more tunes or a whole new squad, which gives us the 14 requirements in the middle there to achieve a GL. Now, I don't think that's also likely very anytime soon because why we already know someone on the horizon that's not yet been released, and that's the Grand Inquisitor. That means that we'd have to actually have six new characters introduced immediately after introducing Sorty and very quickly after introducing the Inquisitors themselves, which represents now uh, 5, 10, 11 characters plus Malgus, 12 characters in about a three or four month window. Now that's not realistic, nor is it sustainable for most of the community, and it would cause a lot of negative feelings as people feel they're falling further and further behind. So we also can scratch off the Inquisitor as clearly not an Old Republic requirement. So if we do accept that we are going to get five Old Republic tunes from Sorty's name, that would indeed give us 14 potential characters. But I think 15 is more likely since uh, Skywalker, Sith Eternal, and the other two GLs, Lord Vader and Kenobi, each needed 15. So Revan Reborn would in fact need possibly six more characters. And as we know, all GLs have thus far been released in pairs. A, who is the other GL from the Old Republic, and B, who are the other 15 characters? They're definitely not going to be Revan, Darth Revan, Malik, and so forth, because they're already highly geared. So I am not trying to be emotional, but rather data-driven, and from this, I do not think a Revan Reborn is coming. Instead, I'm holding to my prediction that Leia and Tarkin are by far the most likely. Oh, by the way, who's that standing next to Tarkin? Huh, seems like he's coming to the game soon. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit a like and subscribe please down below and let me uh, give me a message in the comments telling me what you did or did not like. Thanks, take care, bye bye.